All right, what is going on, guys? Fumbles back again, coming at you with the news. And yeah, so we got January mid month information. Honestly, I woke up. I knew it was a mid month, so I I, I woke up at like six o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I'm going back to bed. I I was up all day. Um, for those that haven't seen, uh, what I've been going through, um, I'm in a new spot. Uh, I, mean, I moved, and uh, yeah, this is pretty much. We, 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 I have a lot to unpack, a lot to do, a lot, uh, mainly just business stuff, but, um, yeah. So, uh, for now, YouTube's gonna be kind of, like, a little bit slow for me, just because I have to take care of, like, the necessities. But, uh, after that, we will be, um, we'll be back. We'll, be, up, we'll definitely up? be back full force. Uh, so let's, uh, check out what we got here, because I haven't even really looked at the art. I know that we got the resurrections and stuff, but I haven't looked at the art on these new characters. I, just, I think I just saw the Ichigo, and I'm just like, I'm like, why do they look like four stars, bro? <laughs> that sounds kind of messed up, but whatever. Uh, boom, boom. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, never mind. This Ichigo looks really good. What the hell is that con in the background? We got Rukia. They actually made Rukia look really cute. And then Renji. Now, for those that aren't aware, we did have a New Year's Ichigo. We did have a New Year's Rukia, and we, and we did have a New Year's Renji. So this is all remakes, which is pretty cool. Let's uh, do this. That's like the New Year. There we go. That, that should show up all the New Year characters. Yeah, so for Rukia, we had four star versions. For Ichigo, we had four star versions. For uh, Renji, we had four star versions. And uh, did we not get a. Uh, yeah, okay, so we do have Rukia as a New Year version, but did we not get an Ichigo? I could have swore we had an Ichigo. Alright, so either way, nice. Let's just uh, get this in here. Um, strong attack recharge 14% on the Rukia. I already like it. Killer, Quincy Killer. Soul Reaper Killer on Ichigo and a Rock Art Killer on Renji. Let's break it down one by one. Do, do I want to start with Ichigo or do I want to start with Renji? Let's start with Renji and then we'll work our way back. I, I like to be a little more surprised so there we go with the Ichigo. Mm. Okay, so Renji is going to be a boost multi barrier unit with Lacerate on all of his attacks except for his second. Normal attack damage 20% with an Aurora Car Killer for a mind unit. A Berserker 40%, Debilitator plus 2 seconds for the last rate, Enhancer plus 10 seconds, that's good. Follow up, very good for a Nad character. I wonder if he's, uh, yeah, he's melee. Uh, Flurry plus 1. Killer Effect plus 30%, 50% in Guild Quest, melee damage plus 30% in Guild Quest. He's a Guild Quest character. This is kind of sad to see, to be honest. I would have preferred him to just be like Flurry plus 2. And then plus 50%, plus 30% in Guild Quest. I. I think would be kind of not re really irrelevant, but because eh. essentially, in terms of damage wise, what he's getting is team boost, right? We're getting the multi barrier for a little bit of protection, so going full stand might not be a bad idea, maybe. Oh, wait, hold up. Innate skills. I forget innate skills are important. There it is. Full stamina only increased normal attack damage plus 40%. There you go. Okay. Okay, that, that changes a lot, actually, because with Flurry plus 2, this would have been completely busted. But hey, we take those. Sprinter plus one, freeze immunity, full statement only, increase normal attack damage plus 40%. And then on top of that, he also gets a bruiser of 20% um, stackable, and then flurry plus one. And then he also has boost, which means that he's going to be getting more attack and focus. That's good. Okay. Damn. Oh, that's going to be nasty, because with the multi-barrier, if he does this first... If he does this off-rip, which they normally do... In content like Guild Quest or Brave Battles, like that means that this character is going to be able to deal quite a bit of damage in Guild Quest, like more so than someone like uh, Nell Yell. And this this girl, this girl is still really, really freaking strong. We have Bruiser 50%, Flurry, Tech Attribute, Nad. So we and then we also have the melee. Oh, but we don't have Killer Effect on this character. Oh, this this Renji is going to be nasty for that. Okay, so for specifically Guild Quest, it looks like this character was made. I do, I'm not gonna lie, I do actually like the follow-up on on NAD units. Maybe not melee NAD units, but on NAD units in general, because if he does a strong attack, the enemies get knocked down, and then he has to sit there waiting like a moron before he can do his NAD string. Okay, so that's pretty good so far. Let's check out Rukia. Rukia is gonna be a ranged character with a freeze and lacerate on all of her attacks. Wait, hold up, let me actually check his kit. 2500 length beam, good for guild quest. 625, this looks like a lunge, which I believe would be good. 625 radius, yeah, that, that, I think that's a lunge. And then the 975 AoE distant is gonna be just the uh, AoE distant 
a little bit of back range. <sighs> I forgot to close my door, and my cat came in, and it's a... Uh, it's a bit hectic in this room. Uh, like, like I said, we're in the process of like moving. Hi, baby. Hey, sweetie. How are you doing, baby? He just wants to play butt scratch. Yeah. These damn cats. All right. Um. Okay. Continuing. Let's go into this rookie. Yeah. <laughs> she looks, she looks like she's fourteen. That's my bad. Um, technique attribute so we per damage the status ailment effect the enemies plus 40%. Increased status ailment chance against speed attribute quincy. Who told me that these characters are bad, bro? Joker. Joker! <sighs> Let me nicely kick him out of the room. Okay, so let's uh, let's just get into this character. I, I don't really see uh, too much craziness here, to be honest. Damage to frozen enemies plus 40%, right? Technique attributes, sword reaper damage to status summon affected enemies plus 40%. The way that this works is it gets calculated separately, right? So it's going to be like times 1.4. So if you would deal 100 damage, right? You would deal plus 40% damage to if they're frozen, and then another 40% damage if they're frozen. Or if they're lacerated, then you would only deal 140, because like say the enemy is resistant to freeze. But like the fact that you're getting plus 96% damage if the enemy is inflicted with a status ailment, and then you also have increased status ailment chance against. Oh no 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 no! Why, bro? Oh come on! I thought it was gonna be increased status ailment chance against all speed attribute enemies, but it has to be Quincy's. That's bad. That's actually legit bad. A Berserker 40%, Debilitator plus 5 seconds, Devastation 40%, Frenzy plus 1, Sprinter plus 1, and Weakened Defense. Like, the Weakened Defense is nice, but Devastation only 40%. Um, to be honest, with the Devastation 40%, it's not bad, because you're getting Bombardment-like damage. Damage to Frozen Enemies plus 40%, Technique Attribute, Status Element Effect to Enemies. This is... Keep in mind, this does affect your Soul Bomb, this does affect your Normal Attack damage hits, not just your strong attacks. That's very important to note there. Debilitator plus 5 seconds, quick plus 1, weakened defense. And then you also get weakened defense. So you're getting bombardment-like damage with this character. The only problem is that since you don't have bombardment, you don't get the multiple hits, which is what helps you clear waves. That's very important also. All right, so then, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, she looks okay, but I don't really see her being very practical. Like, I think that if she's, like, your favorite character, then you can work on her freely, kind of like Tosh. Um, I think that the new Toshiro is probably the best unit in the game, but he doesn't really provide any real, like, farming. Like, he, he doesn't really speed farm, right? Like, like, he doesn't help you farm potions, no Link Stop potions, no super potions, no droplets. Oh, my bad, I said potions. He doesn't, he doesn't help you farm anything, except for the fact that he clears quickly. And this character, I don't really see her clearing quickly unless you, like, 5 5 her. The Toshiro, at least, his in my opinion, is a complete hard carry. So if you want to work on your Toshiro and just have people come in with their Uryus and stuff like that, Toshiro is a hard carry. Whereas I don't think that Kaname needs a hard carry because he's just good. And then, uh, yeah. So I, like, I don't really see too much value in this rookie. I'm not going to lie. Next, we have Speed Ichigo. Ooh, Speed. There's still no Havoc. Oh, no, no Havoc. Hey, live. Come on. All right, let's just let's just get into it now. Speed, who are you competing with? Akon. Now Akon doesn't have have droplets. I think uh, BBS simulator. If I type in Akon, yeah. So Akon has power link stop potions and super link stop potions. This Ichigo has droplets and the link stop potions plus five. He is a melee unit, weakening on everything, which is good. Revive mechanic on his specials. Strong Soul Reaper killer. Okay, Sprinter plus two, do you have long stride? Aw, oh, dude, if he had long stride. Okay, so team, a party, recover 20% stamina. Are you, you have recover stamina too. Oh, no, you don't, okay, cool. All right, so team, party, recovery, stamina. So running him as a one of could actually be pretty good. He doesn't give super link slot potions, but since he does give droplets, he does give link slot potions, and he does give both. That also means that you can take this character over someone like Akon. 
uh, for content like epic raids. You have sprinter plus two, you don't have long strides, so you're not going to be flying and crashing into walls. Weakened defense, devastation 40%. Speed attribute character strong attack damage plus 20%, so you're not even limited to soul reapers. Are you limited to soul reapers? No, you're not. Okay. <laughs> Marauder, so you could use him in extreme co-op, recover 20% stamina, freeze immunity. <laughs> this is a pretty good Ichigo. Oh, I actually didn't look at Ruki's kit. Whenever I write off a character, I almost never look at their kit. <laughs> it's, it sounds messed up, but I almost never look at their kit, because at, at some point, I'm just like, I don't care. Oh, 18% magnification, diarrhea flow. Uh, let's see here. Magnification, 60 into the 8%. What is that? 60% into 8% mag? Is that like the pushback Retsu? Yeah, it is Retsu. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, that's a weird one. Cause you, you, it, it's a vacuum into the shave attack. Third strong attack, standard full screen. Yeah, this character's bad. Like, if you're going up against specifically speed Quincy's, okay, sure. But like, 18% mag is really bad on a character that doesn't really, um... That can't proc on anything other than Quincy's, like. <laughs> but if you proc and you deal like plus ninety six percent damage, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. If you don't get it, it's doo doo. You know? All right, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, Frenzy plus one. Speed attribute character strong attack damage plus twenty percent. That is not Berserker twenty percent. That's better than Berserker twenty percent. Devastation forty percent, and then weakened defense. He is he he okay damn that's actually really good so frenzy a uh, friend so devastation forty percent weakened defense giving him double weakened defense means that you're gonna be nuking down the bosses along with your friends frenzy plus one berserker forty percent with character strong attack damage twenty percent so you're getting berserker forty percent too I like this Ichigo what do you have on you please don't be eighteen so this first strong attack would be Arbic Ichigo's first strong attack but uh as yeah. It, it's pretty iffy. It's the vacuum explosion attack. It locks you up into place for a bit, which I don't necessarily like. 800 AoE distant and then standard full screen. This isn't bad. For a an epic raid farmer in particular, this isn't too bad. The only issue I can see is uh, th this locks you up into place. If you do this uh, unsafely, you die. <laughs> you do this when a purple is about to come out, you die. It is what it is. But you also have the revive mechanic on his special. And then you also have... Um, for like extreme co-op, you can run recover 20% stamina. You, I mean, you have recover 20% stamina for your party, and you also have Marauder, so you don't really have to worry about like, oh, my friend died, I need to restart the run. That's good. Okay, overall, I do like the Ichigo. Uh, the Rukia is, I think she's okay. I don't really see her being like practical, to be honest. Like, I, I see her being maybe like top six. I wouldn't even put her top. I wouldn't put her top two for for tech. I think that. Uh, I think that Unahana destroys this character. Ichigo for speed. For farming, I can see him being very good. In terms of being like OP, I don't really see it just because he doesn't get Havoc. Now, a lot of people get mad at me still for some reason uh, for not having Havoc. The reality is, is if you don't have... If your strong attack would cause you to miss the next wave where 20% um, increased strong attack range would hit... That's huge. That's literally one extra strong attack that you're saving, potentially two to three. Uh, especially in content like uh, was like maybe extreme co-op where you do your third strong attack and you actually hit the enemies to your left and to your right and the ones that would spawn in front of you, you could potentially take out three waves. Whereas if you stand in the middle, if the enemy spawns to your left or right, sometimes you might not even hit them, even though you know where all the spawns are. That's a, in my opinion, that's an issue. But I mean, eh, it is what it is. Overall, this banner looks pretty good. Let me see if we can get a hold of... Let's see here. Boom, boom. Ah. 
Okay, so we get the gameplay already, which is good. Crouch on this? Okay. Let's move on. <laughs> so we talked about these characters. Let's talk about just the gameplay now. I want to see the animations on this. So multi-barrier plus two, team boost, lots of guild quest. Uh, lots of guild quest help. Wow. Hold up. What's his nad range? 375? No, okay, that's that's normal. I was about to say, I'm like, for some reason, this looks short. I like the barriers. Is it badminton? That's funny. I like that. That's cool. So she's really good if the enemy is frozen. What is that? Oh, that's the, the little rabbit that she's holding. That's funny. Vacuum uh, pushback attack. And then the chappy, that's so funny. <laughs> what was that ugly ass? No man, bro. I'm glad we're finally getting more seasonal Ichigos. Alright, let's uh, skip this. Yeah, you put Droplet and Potion Farmer. No Super Potions, but that's fine. Epic Raids, Farmer, specifically Akon for... Um, for IT, so it doesn't invalidate people that summon for Akon. I like that. Yep, vacuum explosion for a strong attack. 800 AoE distant. That's funny. I like that. Full screen third. Quick activation, that's pretty good. Darumatoshi. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. And you get revive on that. And that's pretty much the banner. Okay, I mean, I like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too overly impressed with this banner. I do like the Ichigo, the farming potential with the droplets and potions. Good. Rukia, I, I don't really see much practical use. I, I'm serious, I don't really see much practical use. If you like this character, like, if you really like Rukia, I think that this is a good seasonal for her. I just wish that they gave these characters havoc. As for Renji, I think they did a lot of good for Renji. My only concern... No, I don't really have much of a concern, to be honest. I feel like they addressed most of the stuff that he needed. I think the only issue I'd have is, like, keeping your full stam because he doesn't have, like, stamina recovery built into him. But full stamina only increased normal attack damage 40%. And then having follow-up, having flurry, like obviously only his flurry one, but he, he does have like his bruiser 20% with his team boost. Excuse me, burp. With multi-barrier plus two is really good. So he's going to get his own, uh, with his own barriers, I think that he can keep his full stam without any real concern. And then if you give him full stamina damage, use 25%. Or if you want to give him something like full stam and then give him, what, what would I give him? damage to x types of enemies depending on who your starter is that way he deals more damage to the boss at the end could do that but anyways i'm gonna leave it with that guys brown home catch up here stay blessed like comment and subscribe and you guys enjoyed this video have a great day i'll see y'all in the next one peace